things. So that's the origin and that's the insertion right through there. So that allows us to elevate our shoulder up or it allows us to bend our neck backwards in that direction. Okay? So if you've got that tight bag carrying those heavy purses, you're actually activating that levator trap or levator scapula. Okay, now, the best way to stretch this is, we can all go ahead and do this. Let's do what the picture says. Let's grab this right side of the chair. You're using your right hand, grab the chair. Okay. You're going to bend your head down to the left side. Okay. And then you're going to angle it downward a little bit. Okay. So as Michael's doing that here, we're going to actually turn it down. Okay. So again, if we think about the origin insertion, that really helps us do the stretch. Okay. So this is where that muscle attaches. It comes off of here. So we want to bring this point as far away from that point as possible. So again, we're going to grab the side of the chair. We're going to bend all the way to the left side. And then we're going to kind of rotate our head to look down. And we should feel that stretch mm -hmm. right in through there. Okay. Everyone feel that? Yeah. That's the first. Uh, that's right on top of that face. So that's the stretch for the levator scapulae. So again, remember the origin and the insertion. You want to get this point as far away from that point as possible. Okay. You can do it on both sides. One thing that I recommend when you do the stretch is make sure you don't have any of that um, numbness or tingling. Because if you do have a thoracic outlet in the say, and you do this, and then you're like, oh, my fingers are going numb, get out of that position because you're probably pinching the nerve and you're probably going to do more damage than you do. Yes? Um, when you do that, mm -hmm. it's not to press like, with your left hand against the muscle you you can do that, you can do the counter pressure. You don't want to do that, so. Yeah, in general, I would say just focus on the stretches and try not to get in there and push too much. Because I meant like massage. Yeah, if you can massage, it does help. I would say try and just focus on the stretches. And then, um, should get better, like, it should, yeah, it should help. Where several it days, prevents. or? It all depends on what condition you have. But again, these are more for preventative measures. Um, if you want to do these before the pain, uh, if you do it after the pain. Um, well, I don't have pain just in general, but to do it is just tight. Just, just tight. tight. Yeah. So even, even more reason to continue to do it. All right. The next area that 